Joining me now in the studio is Dr. Bruce Kintz. He's president and CEO of Concordia Publishing House, and he's here to tell us a little bit more in case you don't know about this international uh, non-for-profit business, we'll say, here in St. Louis. We're going to tell you about it. So let's talk about what is Concordia Publishing House. Well, Concordia Publishing House is uh, the 143-year-old publishing arm of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. And uh, we've always been in St. Louis, and we were started initially to serve the church in all of its schools with curriculum and periodicals and all sorts of good resources relative to our Christian faith. I think it's important to point out, though, that it's not just specific to the Lutheran denomination. That's true. While that's our primary customer, if you will, all of the churches and schools within our synod, uh, we serve well beyond the Lutheran Church. All denominations, in fact, worldwide. And in addition to publishing, they also operate a bookstore? Yes, we have a bookstore in the building. It's also historic. It's been there a long time. In fact, it was there when I was a kid. Aww. living in the neighborhood and, and going there myself. So yes, it's there and available to folks. But as you know, these days, the majority of our business is done on the web. That's a true. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll make sure to give you that website yeah. before, we, before you leave out of here. We'll make sure we give right. that to our viewers. Um, important, most importantly, um, in addition to being a success here in St. Louis, you guys are being recognized at the White House. Well, that's what we're told. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, um, we have been on a journey, we call it the quality journey, for a long time, well over a decade. And uh, the quality journey revolves around improvement, competitiveness, focusing on our customers and focusing on our employees. And so this journey that we've been on has finally been judged, uh, you know, not just adequate, but above average as far as companies go. Tell us about the award itself. Sure. Well, the award is based on criteria, and the criteria, there's seven different areas within that criteria, and it's named after the Commerce Secretary that uh, worked with Ronald Reagan in the 80s. His name was Malcolm Baldridge. Okay. And Congress enacted the Malcolm Baldridge Act in 1987, I think, and uh, set forth seven areas of criteria that uh, allow a company be, to be judged. So things like leadership, strategic planning, uh, uh, customer focus, uh, how we measure what we do, uh, our operations and results, and naturally our workforce focus, which is chief among those seven criteria. I'm glad that you pointed that out because mm -hmm. since the 80s, there have been fewer than 100 recipients of this award, so it's quite a feather in your cap. And that workforce focus key component, I know that our viewers are going to be interested in hearing about what the Concordia Publishing House does to focus on their workforce. So we're going to come back with that, and we're going to have you talk a little bit more about that. In the meantime, if you'd like more information about Concordia Publishing House, you can visit them online at their website. And don't go anywhere. There's their website, cph.org. You can reach out through their 800 number as well, 800-325-3040. They are located on South Jefferson. They're a nice anchor in the community, and we'll talk with Dr. Kins more about that when we come back. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. You can friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or watch us streaming all of our programming live on stltv.net. We'll be back with more right after this. Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman. Still in the studio with me is Dr. Bruce Kintz, President and CEO of Concordia Publishing House. And we were here talking about what CPH offers and a little bit more about what you guys have um, this big opportunity to be the, win the Malcolm Baldridge Award from the, gov the federal government, which is really cool because seven, and you said it was a journey of over 10 years yes. or more that you guys have been there. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned just before we broke about your work force focus being one of those seven components of how you guys were able to yes. win this honor. Right. Um, talk about what it is with your workforce focus that really made you up to par with that criteria. Well, uh, in particular, we just believe that our workforce comes first and not second. 
with regard to everything we plan to do. Their input is chief among our strategic planning, along with our board and our customers and things of that nature, but our, but our employees input is very, very integral to our success. So we actually have a voice of the employee system. Really? I yes. was, was going to say, show me. How yeah. does that work? Really? Uh, you can say that it works. Yeah. But, well, so. we actually record every employee comment in a system called Voice of the Employee, VOE, mm -hmm. and it mirrors very similarly our Voice of the Customer mm -hmm. system, VOC. And when we uh, accumulate that data, we actually review it, put like things together, and then act on that information. And so that's one of the first things that I'd like to mention about our workforce focus. Secondly would be our second to none benefits and compensation. Right, at if you're putting people first, then you're thinking of them first instead right. other than obviously the bottom line is always That's true. A, a, you know, a consideration. That's true, but we ask them their opinion in a survey on a number of different criteria, how they view CPH, everything from leadership to input to our processes to whether or not uh, you know that they see things changing for the better, whether or not quality systems are improving at CPH, mm -hmm. all of these things. And they tell us honestly that they are. And for the last decade, it's been continuing to improve. You know, off camera, you mentioned to me how important technology is yes. and how you help focus on the workforce. Yeah. Tell us how you do that with technology. Well, as we know, the publishing industry is changing. Uh, it's going from the written word in a book right. toward everything on your iPhone or some other platform like the Droid or maybe the Kindle or mm -hmm. some other devices. And because of this, uh, we felt the need to make sure that our employees knew that we were going to invest in them. They needed to be ultra familiar with technology. So what we did over the last decade at various times when we could do this, not every year now, right. but one of the years we actually gave every employee a computer and the entire setup, so the printer and everything. Wonderful. But the purpose was not just the gift, the purpose was that they would use it, become familiar with it, and embrace the technology. Another year, free high-speed Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Another year, an iPod Touch, so that, and that's when they first came out. Wonderful, it's yeah. wonderful to be exposed to those things. Right. For, unfortunately for somebody like me, um, if I, I'm better off sometimes not, um, not knowing what I'm missing. Right. <laughs> but in your industry, it makes a lot of sense. That's true. Okay, the Co mm -hmm. Concordia Publishing House is located on South Jefferson Street. They've been there 143 years, quite a staple in the neighborhood. Um, they have an annual fundraiser for sending kids back to school called Operation Fun. If you want more information about Concordia Publishing House, they're located online at cph.org. Um, you can also give them a call at the number on your screen. They also operate a bookstore right out of their location um, during normal operating business hours. But as Dr. Kins pointed out, everything's online anyway. So, and, or if you're if you're not getting a hard copy of it, you're getting an electronic copy That's of right. it somehow. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the Malcolm Baldrige Award. Much. It was really a lot of fun.